Greg Fryer. I'm uh, here at uh, CareStream with uh, Christine Coe. Uh, and we want to talk a little bit about the significance of image enabling the enterprise. And I think that the real key here is the question why. Why do Absolutely. it? Because we can make a very, very good case 20 years ago for image enabling the, uh, or digitally image enabling radiology because it was film based, it was right. highly inefficient, you had liability issues, and you had space being set aside for those films that usually were not as efficiently handled right. as you would like to see. Not Sometimes easily they, distributed either. No, they right. were not. Or accessible. So, so here we have a different situation. Yeah. Here we have physicians across the enterprise who may or may not be able to get a hold of the images they want to see right now. Absolutely. It's one thing for radiology and cardiology because it's DICOM based, but what about the dermatologist, the wound care specialist, the person who needs to see things that maybe a mass has invaded the, um, the bone? Right. And it's, it looks like it may be invasive, so he, that person's got to see dermatological images as well as x-rays. So, Absolutely. So, but, but clearly I'm getting ahead of myself. Oh, Why no. do this? I, I think you had a couple of things on, uh, around, nail on the head there. I, I think it is the fact that we are seeing much more complex clinical pathways that requires not only a specialist now, episodic care, but more about a collaborative care. Right, you need a specialist team, you need referring physicians to be part of that conversation, you need the patients to be part of that conversation. And so when you have a multiple group of multidisciplinary team that's coming together, you know, information is no longer just text-based, it's multimedia, it's coming from all sorts of different sources. So it's, it's about having that better collaboration to drive better insight and better decision making. Okay, can that translate into better care and better patient I, handling? Absolutely, you know, I think about, you know, most simple case, for example, we know that in radiology, often up to 10% of the radiology exams were duplicated because priors were not available. So imagine now in a broader enterprise for cardiology, dermatology, endoscopy, scopes, and, and videos and whatnot. So imagine when you do have that information available, for you know, ECGs, prior ECGs. Why perform yet another exam when the results are already there for you? And so I think there's definitely not only workflow advantages, but also from a, a, a care for the patient, convenience to, and just having better insight. Okay, does it require one to look at this differently? For example, there, we've become accustomed to trying to do things faster and sure that's fine, but we need to, and now we look at it in, in terms of return on investment. Absolutely. So there are those issues as well, but do we have to look at this differently because we're trying to say, reduce the number of readmissions to a hospital, or we're trying to make patients, we're putting patients at the center of our care as opposed to trying to uh, make things faster or meet some kind of metric. I, I think all of the above, actually. You know, if you think about um, where, again, why the image? Why is it important? It's a critical clinical content. Right? And so when you manage it properly, when you distribute it properly with the proper clinical context, right, that's when you start to figure out, well, how else should it be used? But without knowing that, without even having a way to have uh, ability to access that in the first place, we'll never know. Mm -hmm. But now we do. Okay, good. Absolutely. I think we've got it. I think so. Thank you so much for coming by. Thank you for having me.